my country, my kinsmen. I bring news from the siege. Seventeen thousand horse and cavalry rode upon the enemy and crashed upon them like unforgiving sea. And while we were victorious, we were not without loss. A single arrow in the charge had laid low our king. Upon word of his falling, the queen's heart broke and she died. I bring you this news. And it is with sad heart that I must say that our royal heirs must all too soon take their place as protector and leader of the kingdom. As is right and proper, the heir of North Shield should be called forth to lead the kingdom in this time of trial. All rise for Prince Conrad, deft and mighty right hand, commander of the king's armies, and stellar prince of the Griffin realm. Seneschal of North Shield, I bear witness to their right to the crown of North Shield. Does the Earl Marshal bear witness? As one of the marshals at the tournament, I bear witness that Conrad is the rightful victor of that tournament. Is there a combatant in the last crown tournament to bear witness? As a combatant in the crown tournament, I bear witness to their right a victory and inspiration as the heir of the crown of North Shield. Do the peers of North Shield bear witness? Aye. Do the barons and baronesses of North Shield bear witness? Aye. Shall all of North Shield bear witness? Aye. Kneel now and swear your oath to the kingdom of North Shield. I swear to keep and confirm to the people of North Shield the laws customs and traditions of the realm, to defend, strengthen, and maintain them to the best of my ability, to seek the wise counsel of our peers, baronage, and people. I shall do and keep in all of my domains and judgments true and right and mercy and truth, <clears throat> to be vigilant as I guide her people, to be diligent in my service to all, and to light the way from the stellar thrones. May all of my strength fail me and the world turn against me <coughs> if I break this solemn oath. Thus swear I, Conrad Derlo Van Olm. The king must remain loyal to his people who depend upon him to defend the kingdom. He must be bold of heart for he is the point of the sword that all will follow in battle. He must seek the path of justice without bias or personal interest, and his judgments must be tempered by humanity and mercy. 
He must strive for excellence in all endeavors, not for his own good, but for the good of the kingdom. As the embodiment of all that is North Shield, his service will inspire others to greater service. He shall inspire love and respect in the realm, and his deeds will be remembered long after he has passed from these lands. <coughs> Water brings us life. It nurtures the plants and brings us the bounty of the seas and rivers. Water can also be vengeful and unceasing. Know that to be the king, you must hold both aspects in your heart. Let this water remind you to temper justice with mercy. Bury you now this ring as a symbol of your vow to the kingdom and the people of North Shield. Princess crowned at this time. Yes, please call her forth. All rise for Princess England, song of the North Wind, the voice of many, and the stellar princess of the Griffin realm. Kneel now and take your oath to the kingdom of North Shield.
swear to keep and confirm to the people of North Shield the laws, customs, and traditions of the realm, to defend, strengthen, and maintain them to the best of my ability, to seek the wise counsel of our peers, baronage, and people, I do sh and keep in all my domains and judgments true and right in mercy and truth, to be vigilant as I guide her people, to be diligent in my service to all, and to light the way from the stellar thrones. May all my strength fail me, and the world turn against me if I break this solemn oath. Thus swear I, Avalyn Finn. The queen must remain loyal to her people, who depend upon her to inspire the kingdom. She must be bold of heart, for she has the wings of the dove that would lead her people in peace. She must seek the path of mercy without bias or personal interest, and her judgments must be tempered by equity and justice. She must strive for excellence in all endeavors, not for her own good, but for the good of the kingdom. As the embodiment of all that is North Shield, her service will inspire others to greater service. She shall inspire love and respect in the realm, and her deeds will be remembered long after she has passed from these lands. <clears throat> Water flows on the ground, but only after it has fallen from the sky. It can be a freezing blizzard or a nourishing rain. Both have value in their season. Know that to be queen, you must hold both aspects in your heart. Let this water remind you that your influence will shape the kingdom, both in summer's warmth and winter's chill. Bear you now this ring as a symbol of your vows with kingdom and people of North Shield. You see your scepter of office.
assembled baronesses of North Shield, please escort your queen to her throne. Go now and embark upon your path of service. Lead with courage, rule with justice, but act with mercy. Lend aid with generosity and inspire with hope. Keep faith with your people and bear witness with nobility, for you represent your kingdom and her people. Yeah. <laughs> 